Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be film a video I've been thinking about doing for a while, but I've only just got around to it. I want to film a lipstick collection video. Um, I really enjoy watching lip swatch videos and lipstick is one of my favourite things so I thought it would be nice just to give you an overview of all the lipsticks I have in my collection. I do have a fair amount, by no means the biggest collection in the world, but I do have probably over 50 lipsticks so I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to film this video all in one go so if my makeup changes or my lighting changes that is why because I don't know if I'm going to get this all done today. So anyway let's get straight into the video. I think what I'm going to do is kind of group my lipsticks into colours so I'll start off with the nudes and then pinks and on from there so let's get started. So the first five lipsticks I'm going to be showing you are a set which is the Freedom Pro Bear set. This first one is Whispers which is my favourite one from the set and this one is a pink toned nude. These are all very kind of natural looking lipsticks um, but I enjoy that sometimes just for everyday life. This next one is called Mannequin. I'm not as keen on this one. I find the formula is a bit more stiff and it doesn't have um, as much colour payoff. It's more of a kind of peach brown toned nude. And yeah, I just don't feel like it shows up on my lips that well. This next one is called Naked Beauty, which again is kind of a peachy brown toned nude. And like with the last one, I don't feel like this shows up on my skin that well. But it's still okay if I'm going for a really, really natural look. This next one is called Untouched and this is more a bit more pink toned and quite pale. I prefer this one a little bit to the previous two but still it doesn't massively show up on my lips. Um, but again this whole collection is very natural so... And the final one in this little collection is called Sooner or Later, which is a bit more of a mauve toned nude. I think this is my second favourite after Whispers, as it kind of, the colour shows up a bit more on me. It's a bit more pigmented and slightly less stiff compared to the previous three I've just shown you. This is a Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick and this is the shade Mannequin. I really really like this one. The, the colour I think just looks quite natural on me and I really like the formula. It's a nice, thin, comfortable formula and it lasts really really well. So I enjoy this one. This next one is a lipstick by Avon. I'm pretty sure it's discontinued now as I can't find it online anymore. It's called Frosty Nectar and I used to love this when I first turned 18 and started going out. Um, it's kind of a, another peach tone nude but it has a bit of a shimmer. There's a bit of a silver shimmer. It's meant to be one of these plumping ones but I'm not sure it does anything. Next we have a Clinique chubby stick. This is the colour Bountiful Blush and this is one of my go-to's for when I'm going for a really natural kind of no makeup makeup look. I feel like it's just a my lips but better kind of shade. 
it's a bit a bit glossy quite moisturizing and really comfortable to wear so I really like it this is the NYX lip lingerie in the shade push up which is kind of a brownie pinky nude and again I really really love this one it's probably my go-to nude liquid lipstick it's quite a moussey formula a bit thicker than the Jeffree Star one um, but it's very very comfortable and lasts a really long time as well so I really like this one and I want to try more from this range This is the Bourjois Rouge Edition lipstick in Beige Trench, which is kind of a cool toned beige nude. This isn't one of my most reach for lipsticks, but it's a nice comfortable formula and I do wear it sometimes. This is the Bourjois Colour Boost and the colour is Proudly Naked. This is pretty much a dupe for the Clinique Chubby Stick so if you're looking to try one of them but are on a bit of a budget then these might be worth trying. To be honest I probably don't need this colour plus the Chubby Stick because they're very similar. I just slightly prefer the formula of the Clinique ones. This is another Avon lipstick that I'm pretty sure is discontinued now. This is the colour Beige Nude and as you can probably see it, this is quite a well loved lipstick as well. Um, and this, as you would guess from the name, is a beige toned nude. Um, and yeah, I just think it's a really nice nude colour. This one is one of my current go-to liquid lipsticks. It's the Morphe Liquid Lip in the shade Brunch, which is like a peachy toned colour. And I've really been loving this recently. They are a little bit drying, but they last a really long time and it's not so dry that I find it uncomfortable. And the formula is a bit more liquid than I'm used to, so I have to take a little bit of time with application, but I still really like them. And this is the Beauty Bakery Lip Whip in the shade Versailles. I don't reach for this a huge amount. I think I might do a little bit more in autumn and winter. It's kind of a cool mauve toned nude. It's definitely a darker nude than, than what I'm used to. This is a bit drying, but the formula lasts forever it's so long wearing and it's really hard to take off so if you're looking for a lipstick that will last you all day this is one to try This is the e.l.f. Velvet Matte Lipstick in Blushing Brown which is like a deep rosy brown um, and I tried this in my um, testing elf video recently I really like the formula it's very comfortable and creamy and glides on easily I wouldn't say it's massively matte but if you're not bothered about that it's still quite a nice lipstick and another brown shade this is the NYX soft matte lip cream in Dubai which is more of a cool toned brown. I don't reach for this a huge amount just because I don't wear brown lipsticks massively often, but the soft, soft matte lip creams do have quite a nice formula and I definitely need to use them more.
I don't know what happened to my camera here, it suddenly goes out of focus. But anyway, this is the Primark Pretty Serious Metallic Liquid Lipstick and I'm pretty sure this is the colour Rose Gold. It comes as like a little lip kit with a lip liner in it as well. And this is just a shimmery metallic kind of rose gold liquid lipstick. It's not one that dries down um, and I've not really worn this for a long period so I don't know what the wear time is like but I do quite like this for the price it was from Primark, it's quite a nice lipstick. This is the Rimmel Moisture Renew Lipstick in the shade Soft Coral, I'm pretty sure this one is discontinued now as well. And like the name suggests it is kind of just a soft peach coral and it does have some silver shimmer running throughout it which I'm not a huge fan of to be honest and it feels a little bit gritty um, on your lips because of the glitter. But it's still fairly pretty and I reach for it occasionally. And this is the MUA lipstick in the colour Nectar. If you watch my £20 makeup challenge you'll see that I bought this for that challenge. It's a really pretty coral colour and for a pound you can't expect the best formula but it's definitely a pretty lipstick. Next we have the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in the shade Too Cute and I'm not generally a gloss kind of person but I bought this recently just to, as an experiment to try and I'm actually really impressed with it. It's a lot less sticky and uncomfortable than I thought it would be and the pigmentation is so good. So I was pretty impressed. It's a kind of baby pink, kind of a cool toned baby pink colour which isn't my usual shade to go for but I don't hate it too much. I haven't really worn it for a prolonged period yet so I'm not sure what the wear time's like but so far I am liking it. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Tokyo and this is a, another cool toned baby pink colour. I don't reach for this very often, I'm just not sure of the colour on me. Um, the formula is quite nice, it's a little bit patchy, which some colours like this can be, but you can build it up to quite a nice finish. I'm just not 100% sure that this lipstick suits me. Next is the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade West Coast which is a very daring colour for me. I've only worn it once so far and it is pretty, I'm not 100% sure if I can pull the colour off. Although I did find the formula a little bit drying and it did crack on my lips after a while. Um, although I have heard a lot of people say that they really like these lipsticks so maybe it is just this colour. but. I am going to experiment with it a bit more and see if I can make it work. Next we have the Rimmel Colour Rush and I think the colour's pinking of it. All the writing has wiped off the side of it so I'm, I'm not 100% sure anymore. But this is another one of these lip crayons that everyone loved a few years ago. This one's a bit more of a matte finish than the glossy ones that um, I showed before. I don't reach for this too often but it is quite a pretty colour. Next we have my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, this is one of the hot lips one and the colour is Kidman's Kiss and this is a really nice matte formula, it's nice and comfortable 
These lipsticks are expensive. I think this is the most expensive lipstick I own, but it is really nice. So if you're looking for a bit of a splurge, I would recommend these ones. And look at that packaging, it's gorgeous. Next we have the Body Shop Colour Crush lipstick in the shade Blushing Pink and again this is just another kind of rosy blush pink which I seem to have a lot of. This one is quite a nice creamy formula, it's not the most long wearing but again a nice pretty colour. we have another Avon lipstick here that I'm pretty sure is discontinued. This is called Plush Rose and it's kind of a rose pink with a bit of a gold shimmer going throughout it. It's quite a nice formula, very comfortable. I find with the Avon lipsticks they do slide around a little bit but they're very comfortable to wear so don't last that long but look quite nice while they're applied. And it also has the little um, kind of balm thing that's on the top that I showed you that you're meant to pat over the top and it's meant to make it look more shimmery but I don't really find that this does anything you can probably tell from when I'm applying it here but yeah I think that bit's a bit pointless next we have another Avon lipstick which again is discontinued which I'm quite sad about because I love this one this one's called Rose Ribbons and this was my absolute go-to a few years ago I used it to death and it is just a really kind of nice bright rosy pink and it's really comfortable and really pretty We have a Benefit, one of the Their Real lipsticks and this shade is Lusty Rose and these are the lipsticks that have kind of a lip liner section and a lighter section which are meant to make your lips look bigger. To be honest I do find it a little bit gimmicky, this is just a sample from a birch box um, and you can end up with a bit of a line around the edge of your lips if you haven't blended it together properly but I can make it work and the colour is pretty so I do quite like this one. Next we have a Kiko lipstick which has very fun packaging. This is a Gossamer Emotion Creamy lipstick and this is the colour Mochaccino which is kind of a pinky mauve matte colour. I really like Kiko lipsticks, I find they're really pigmented, really comfortable to wear and pretty affordable as well. Another Kiko lipstick, I can't find this one on their website so I think it is discontinued and it doesn't have a shade name on it, all it has is the number 513. This one is more of a deep berry pink. This one's not as matte, it's more of a satin finish but it's very pretty and very comfortable to wear. And another Kiko lipstick. This is the Velvet Passion Matte Lipstick in the colour Mauve. This one is really matte and a bit more stiff to apply, but you can still get a nice finish out of it and it lasts quite a long time, so you just have to work it a bit more than the other two lipsticks. And this is a lip gloss from Freedom and it's the colour Kiss which is like a bright Barbie pink. It's really not my thing, to be honest this is the first time I've worn it. I got it free as a sample with an order I made from um, the Tam Beauty website. I found it a little bit streaky and patchy, the pigmentation wasn't completely kind of smooth and to be honest it's just not quite my thing. Next we 
Next we have the I Heart Makeup Wow Gloss and the shade is No Need to Panic. This is kind of a, a deep rosy pink. I much prefer this um, lip gloss to the last one. The pigmentation is much better, it's much more smooth um, and it just looks better and I prefer the colour so I would recommend these ones. And another Freedom lip gloss. This is the Freedom Pro Melts lip gloss and the shade is still the show. I had this in my collection for ages and never kind of reached for it, but I tried it recently and I was really impressed because it's, it's so pigmented and it wears quite well. It's not too sticky, um, so it's just a nice glossy finish and I am definitely gonna try and get a bit more use out of this one. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and this shade is Manila. This is probably my favourite out of the three soft matte lip creams that I own. Again, I still don't reach for it that often, I'm not really sure why, because um, I do quite like the formula of these and this colour especially I really like. But yeah, I just don't find I wear them very often. I think doing this video will hopefully, hopefully make me rediscover some lipsticks that I need to use more. Next we have the e.l.f. Velvet Matte Lipstick in the shade Flirty Flamingo which is like a nice bright pink colour. Um, I bought this along with the brown one I showed you earlier for my testing e.l.f. makeup video. I didn't use this one in the video but I do really like the colour and the formula is nice. Again, not massively matte so I don't know why they call them velvet mattes but I still like it and wear it a fair amount. This is the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Lipstick and this shade is Pommy Girl. I really like this lipstick, the pigment's really good and the application's smooth and it has a nice matte finish. It's more of a berry pink this one and I really love these colours especially in autumn. Next we have a Tarte lipstick, this is one of their Colour Splash lipsticks and this shade is Popsicle which is again another bright berry pink. This formula is really really creamy so it's really comfortable and nice but it, I do find it slips around a little bit like if I go out for a meal with this I can end up with it on my chin sometimes so I don't reach for it as much as I probably should but I do still really like it and it's a gorgeous colour. Next we have another Bourjois Colour Boost lipstick. I'm not sure of the shade of this one because all the writing's rubbed off it, which is annoying. But I reach for this one quite a lot, especially more in the autumn when I, I gravitate towards these shades. This is very comfortable to wear, has a nice pigment level and a nice kind of subtle glossy finish and I think it's really pretty. This is the Body Shop Matte Lip Liquid and the shade is Goa Magnolia. I haven't reached for it for a while but hopefully I'll get more use out of it come the autumn.
Next we have another Avon lipstick, which I'm pretty sure is discontinued as well. This is the colour Really Rosy, which is like a nice kind of classic red tone. It's a bit of a metallic finish and has a bit of a shimmer through it. So it's not something I reach for too often, but it is really pretty and it's nice around Christmas time. I do find the formula a bit kind of slidey, it slides around and gets on your teeth really easily, which you will see in a minute because I get this on my teeth. Soz. Next we have another Morphe liquid lipstick and this is the colour Morphe. I only bought these recently so I haven't actually worn this one out yet but swatching it here I really like the colour, it's really nice and providing it has the same wear time as the other one I've showed you before, Brunch, then I think I'll be getting a lot of use out of this come Christmas time and more, more winter time, which is when I tend to wear red lipstick a bit more. Next we have another Freedom little set of lipsticks. This is the um, Freedom Pro Vamp Noir lipstick and this colour's Pure Vamp, which is a really nice classic red colour. Um, I did end up with this on my teeth as well, I think, so apologies. I wore this last Christmas. I don't tend to reach for reds that often, but when I do, I find I really like them and I was really impressed with this. The pigmentation is really good. This is another Freedom Pro Vamp Noir lipstick. This colour is Vamp Noir, which is more of a darker red. This one has a bit of a stiffer formula. It doesn't glide on quite as easily as the last one, but the pigmentation's still good and you can get a nice finish out of it. So I like this one also. This is the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid and this colour is Orange Shot and I posted about this on my Instagram recently. It's definitely, definitely not matte so I don't know how Maybelline can market it as that because it doesn't dry down but it is a really nice kind of pigmented lip lacquer and I've really been enjoying using it. It's quite long wearing and the colour is just gorgeous and yet again I got it on my teeth. This next lipstick is the Sleek True Colour Lipstick in the colour Russian Roulette. This is a really, really matte lipstick and the formula is a bit stiff. You, it takes me a little bit more effort to apply this one, but I do still like the outcome. It is a bit drying, so I don't reach for a huge amount, but it, it's still a nice colour. And this is the NYX Liquid Suede in the colour Cherry Skies. I have to be honest, I haven't used this a huge amount. I don't think it completely dries down, which I find a bit scary with colours like this because I, I like it to kind of stay put, especially with darker colours like this. But the colour is really pretty and the formula is nice and smooth and it's very pigmented, not patchy at all. I do find the applicator, I'm not completely in love with it. I find it hard to get like a nice defined line around my lips. So I probably normally wear a lip liner with this one.
This next lipstick is from I Heart Makeup. I got it in a little set with an eyeshadow palette. I can't seem to find it on their website anymore. But it's just a nice berry purple colour and it is really nice to apply and nicely pigmented. So I probably will use this more in the autumn but I haven't worn it a huge amount yet. I do have too many colours like this though. So. This is another one from the Freedom Pro Vamp Noir lipstick. This one is called Dusk Till Dawn, which is again more of a berry purple colour, quite a deep one this. And like some of the others, this formula is a little bit stiff, but I can get a decent level of pigment out of this one and it does go on fairly smoothly. And this is another Frieden Vamp Noir lipstick. This one is called Intense Noir and this one I really, really don't like. Which is a shame because it's the main reason that I bought this set because this looked like a really cool colour. But I just cannot get it to go on smoothly. It is very streaky and I can't get it to look good even with a lip liner. So I don't really know why I've kept it to be honest. But I probably wouldn't ever wear this out. And the last one in this little set is the Freedom Vamp Noir lipstick and this one is Dark Paradise. Like the last one, this is a little bit streaky but I can make this one work just about. It's not my favourite formula, I think Freedom need to work on their darker colours in this little set. But I could probably go out wearing this one, it's not as bad. Next we have my only MAC lipstick, which I know sounds a bit crazy for someone that likes makeup so much to only have one MAC lipstick. This is the colour Plumful and I do reach for it a lot, I really like it, it's very comfortable and is a really pretty colour. Next we have another Tarte Colour Splash lipstick. This one is in the shade Berry Mojito. I haven't actually worn this one out yet but the formula feels pretty similar to the other one that I showed you, Popsicle. I will hope to get a bit more use out of this come the autumn, like I keep saying with a lot of these lipsticks, but this is just a really gorgeous deep vampy red colour. This is the LA Splash Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick and the shade is Tiramisu which is a really kind of cool grey toned mauve colour. I'm not completely in love with the formula on this, it is a bit drying, it does last fairly well but I found when I ate certain things with it, it just kind of crumbled off and gave me the whole liquid lipstick crumbs on my chin which isn't the best look so I wouldn't recommend this if you're gonna go out to eat but it's still quite a nice lipstick and a bit of a daring colour for me finally we have another morphe liquid lipstick this is the shade juju i've never used this one before and my application here is terrible so i do apologize and this is kind of a blue toned purple it's a very very daring color for me it's probably not something i'll wear out i just wanted something to play around with and maybe use on instagram etc it's a little bit patchy compared to the other two Morphe liquid lipsticks I have, but 
I can build it up to a nice finish so hopefully I will get a bit of use out of this one. So that is every single lipstick in my collection swatched. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. I am now going to go off and apply lip balm to my lips over and over again because swatching that many lipsticks definitely, definitely didn't do my lips many favours. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Let me know which lipstick was your favourite and let me know what your favourite lipsticks are because I'm always looking to grow my collection. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see what else I have coming up. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.